In this problem, we're being asked to sketch an angle on the unit circle in what's called standard position. Standard position means one arm of the angle is going to start at the center of the circle and go out to the right along the x-axis here. And then the other arm is going to start at the center of the circle and go to the radian measure of wherever that angle is. So how do we figure out where that radian measure is? We've got pi over 4 in this case, and in the second one we've got negative 7 pi over 6. So one thing we should do is get familiar with this unit circle. And it shouldn't surprise you that the circumference of this circle is 2 pi. The radius of a unit circle is 1. That's, that's the definition of a unit circle. It's got a radius of 1. And the circumference of any circle is 2 times pi times the radius. So 2 pi is the radius of our circle. So that means if you start here and you go counterclockwise around the circle like we do by convention and you get all the way back to where you started, you've gone a distance of 2 pi. So 0 and 2 pi occupy the same point on the uh, circumference of the circle. What that means is halfway around the circle, so right here, would be pi radians around the circle. And a quarter of the way around the circle would be pi over 2. And 3 quarters around the circle would be 3 pi over 2. These are the first four points that you should really commit to memory uh, when thinking about the unit circle. But we can go further. We can divide these up further. And, and we do. This is probably something your, your teacher will want you to memorize. Let's split this in half. So the halfway between 0 and pi over 2 would be pi over 4. And let's do that in the other quadrants as well. So there, whoops, there, there. Not sketching this perfectly, but that's OK. So this is pi over 4. This is 2 pi over 4. So this would be 3 pi over 4. Pi is 4 pi over 4. So this is 5 pi over 4. And then 3 pi over 2 is 6 pi over 4. So this would be 7 pi over 4. OK. So we've got it broken down now into fourths of pi around the circle. And we're going to go one more degree of complexity. You'll notice in the second one, we have 7, negative 7 pi over 6. So typically, when we look at the unit circle, we also divide it into sixths. And there's a special reason for that. Um, you know, these pi over 4 divisions, um, they end up making triangles that are uh, 45, 45, 90 triangles. Here we have uh, a 45 degree angle. If I dropped uh, a line here, we'd have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. The, uh, the pi over 6s give us 30, 60, 90 triangles. So if I draw a 30 degree angle here, this is actually pi over 6 of a, the way around the circle. And I'm going to continue drawing in those um, sixths of the way around the circle. So there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. OK, now let's see if we can label those as well. The first one is pi over 6, 1 pi over 6. The next one would be 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3. And the next one here would be 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2. So this would be 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. And this would be 5 pi over 6. And here at pi, we're at 6 pi over 6. That should make sense. And then this would be 7 pi over 6. And 8 pi over 6 would be next. And that is 4 pi over 3. And 3 pi over 2 is 9 pi over 6. So this is 10 pi over 6 or 5 pi over 3. And then this last one is 11 pi over 6. And finally, we'd get to 12 pi over 6, that it would equal 2 pi, and we've made it all the way around the circle. So these numbers may take a little time to, uh, for you to get used to, to commit to memory, but that's how we typically divide up the unit circle. Now, let's see if we can draw in these angles. So I'm going to choose a different color here. Maybe make it a little bigger so it's easier to see. So the first one, it says theta equals pi over 4. 
So what that means is we draw this arm for standard position, and then the next arm has to intersect at pi over 4. So our angle here is, or that's theta, is pi over 4 radians. Now let's try this negative 7 pi over 6. What the negative means is that instead of going counterclockwise around the circle like you would normally do, you go clockwise around the circle. So we're going to go this direction, 7 pi over 6. And on a circle that's labeled like this, we can just count the, the sixth. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and one more is 7. So right here is negative 7 pi over 6. It happens to be the same thing as 5 pi over 6. And if we want to sketch in an angle, we just sketch in this here. And let's see, we'll, so this is confusing. I'll pull that one out. And there we have the angle negative 7 pi over 6. So that is how to sketch angles in standard position on the unit circle.